Hey guys, so it is already the end of August, which means August favorite, but I'm kind of bummed because August was my birthday month, but since it was, I was able to try out some new products that I got as gifts, so, and I ended up loving them. Um, so, let's just hop right in. My first product is a moisturizer, and this is the Boots Expert Sensitive Hydrating Moisturizer, and I've mentioned another product from this, I think it was the toner, um, and I've tried uh, actually a few different products from this line and I really like them and if you want a more in-depth video on just the products I've tried from this line I'll definitely do that just let me know um, but I really really love this moisturizer I have dry sensitive skin and this moisturizer really helps um, you know keep it moisturized and not so flaky and it does not break me out at all which I Love. Moving on from moisturizer, let's see. I don't even know where to go. Um, my head's kind of all over the place today. Um, I'm going to go with my Meat Matte Nude palette. And this was a birthday gift. And I have been loving this palette to death this month. Um, I just love the nude eye. And actually did a tutorial um, for a fall look with this palette. And that will be up shortly after this um, video. Or it might already be up. Don't know. Depends on when you're watching this, but I am in love with this palette. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this is the Urban Decay. I don't know what kind of blushes these were. Um, this just says powder blush. It's in the color Score. I got this on Hot Look. Hot Look however you pronounce it. I know I everyone pronounces it differently and I just don't know exactly how to. Um, hot look, that's why I call it. I don't know if that's right or not. But this is just a gorgeous um, peachy color and yeah, I've been using it up this month, trying to use it um, right before it moves into the fall seasons and where I am it gets really cold pretty fast. So. Um, yeah, so I've been using that up and I've been loving that for a nice pop of color on the cheeks. And then speaking about cheeks, um, more so contouring the cheeks, I have been using my L'Oreal True Match Powder in the color N8 Cappuccino. Um, and it just looks like this and um, I really am loving this. For contouring um, it really I've used it today and I don't know if you could tell um, I picked it up at in the more in the middle of the month but ever since I picked it up like I've been using it non-stop and I love to kind of define my cheekbones and yeah I love to contour okay <laughs> moving on um, so this is another product that I've been using this month obviously that I love and this is the 135 Snow Plum, and I have been loving this color up for a highlight. Um, this is basically the only powder highlight I have been using all month, and it's like a really nice peachy, um, I don't know, shimmery color, and it's not too like cakey. Like, I feel like I've tried these before, these cheekers, and they've kind of like fallen off, not fallen off, but are powdery. There we go, are pow powdery. Um, but this one really wasn't like that and I really like the color that it is and it was on sale so that is definitely a plus. Target was on sale so if you want to go to Target check it out. I don't know if it's discontinued though since it was on sale so I'm sorry if it is discontinued and you can't find it anywhere but um, I have that on my cheeks as well if you want to kind of see what I'm using as a highlight and I'm also using this as a highlight. This is the Watts Up from Benefit, and this is a small little one. I think they have a bigger one, but I got this one from my Sephora um, birthday gift, and I've been really liking this. This is more so a gold um, highlight, and that one is more so a pinky one, so when I put them together, I really like um, the look that it gives. So, that is that. Um, for my eyes, um, well, I did eyeshadow, but... I mean for liner, I have been loving the Jordana Fabu liners. Um, I have brown right here and I forgot to grab my black one. But um, I've been really liking these. I really like the brown one. Um, it doesn't give that like dramatic of a look, but it still makes you look like you have eyeliner on. Like, these are like $3 and you can't really go wrong with them being $3. Um, but funny story actually. I'm gonna say or tell the story. Um, I tried 
or I got the black and I got the brown ones just to try them out and when I got home I swatched the black and I'm like hmm that's really not that dark you know I've heard good things about these and so then I swatched the brown and the brown was the black one so I'm like oh okay and then I realized the black was the brown one I'm like okay like you know, good thing I got both because otherwise I would have gotten the one that I didn't want. Um, so, you know, go on a few days, few weeks later. Actually, it was like a week later. You know, I go and I go to put on the brown... I put on the brown one because I wanted the... Wait. I put on the black one because I wanted the brown one. And as I put it on, I'm like, oh, this is now turning black. So I'm like, did it change? So then I went back to try the brown one and this one was brown what like I was like so confused I, I don't even know I know for sure that the brown one was the black one and the black one was the brown one I don't know it's it like made my mind go like what am I crazy I think I'm crazy so um yeah that's my little story for you but now the brown one is the brown one and the black one is the black one and I hope they don't switch on me because that would be just confusing I don't know if this has happened to anyone else if it has please let me know so I know I'm not crazy so that is enough about that rant um, my next favorite is the hard candy glamouflage heavy-duty concealer and this is like it says a heavy-duty concealer I don't know Oh, I got the color tan um, as I'm dropping it. I have very bad acne scars, um, and I feel like this really covers them up nice, and I could just put on a BB cream and this and, like, be fully covered, I feel like. Um, this is very, very heavy duty. Only You only need, like, the littlest little bit. Littlest little bit. Um, <laughs> you only need the littlest bit, uh, but it works really well, and I, I've been enjoying that. And then for lips, I this is the only lip product I have been using this month, except for this, but this was on my tutorial. Um, but these are the Show Off Lip Lacquers or the Apocalypse. That's what they're called in the UK. Here they are called the Show Off um, Lip Colors. And I don't know why they have two different names. I think everyone has talked about this. It's crazy. I love the name of the Apocalypse over the Show Off Lips or Show Off, yeah show off I don't know um, but I have the color in 101 Celestial and this is a gorgeous pigmented um, I wouldn't I mean it's a lip gloss it is a lip gloss it's not a stain um, but it's just a beautiful opaque pink or uh, like neutral pink color oh it's so pretty I'm like opening it up I don't even know why um <laughs> it is so so pretty and I really really like them so if you want to go give those a try they're like four or five dollars they are awesome loving those okay so that is it for um makeup stuff and now I'm moving on to nails this is the Sesh Vite um top coat there we go top coat and I usually use the Sally Hansen um, insta dry but I picked this up because it was on sale and I've been really liking this I've got to say I like this more than the insta dry but I've heard bad things about it once you get to the half point um, that like kind of dries up um, so I don't know I'm not there quite yet but I'll let you know if it does start to dry up on me okay now to well let's see here this is my pure coconut oil um this is all natural coconut oil the loving coconut oil um what i have been using it for mainly this month is my skin um i just when i get out of the shower i use it kind of as a lotion and i just put it everywhere and yeah you kind of are a little bit sticky the first like hour or so but it moisturizes the skin so well. I love it so much. Um, coconut oil is also great for tons of things. Like go on Pinterest and put in coconut oil. And you'll find tons of things. I know it's great for your hair. I've done it on my hair a few times. Um, your skin. Um, it's good for you to eat. I don't eat it solid. But I have had it in things. And yeah I've been loving coconut oil. My skin has been loving the coconut oil. 
And then um, for a, another random favorite, I'll go with a food favorite. And oh my gosh, like these are my food favorite. This is the Pretzel Crisps um, Dark Chocolate dark chocolate crunch um pretzel yummy things pretzels dipped in dark chocolate and they are so good you have one you have 10 11 12 um they're not that bad with the calories i mean it's a great snack i love them um if you can't tell but i think they're really good and i'm a sucker for dark chocolate or any sort of chocolate and i like the sweet salty yum 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 and then, um, last but not least, I can't find it now. Oh, there it is. I've been loving my phone case. I don't know if you could see that or not. How cute, right? I got this for my birthday as well. I think they got this from Charming Charlie's, if anyone is interested. And, yeah, I've been getting so many compliments on that. I am so sorry, you guys, if I was super crazy in this video. But, um, yeah, I was really excited about my August favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any requests, please let me know. I would love to do any videos for you guys. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Like, you don't even know how much it means to me that you guys are watching my videos. I mean, even if it's a few people, like, ah, I'm, I love it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> Loving it. Love, love, love. Ah, can't think. Having, like, one of those times where your brain just doesn't want to work. <sighs> I don't know why. I went off the crazy train.